if we, if we choose the 100 percent, and it involves, uh, it involves initially uh, roughly, I was writing down those numbers, uh, roughly, roughly 7 percent increases in costs for those who stick with the 100 percent. I mean, that's a substantial hike. And is the assumption to make this work, this rate balance with retention of uh, folks uh, in the default category, is that, um, that's subject to change, correct? Is it based on the belief that that uh, ninety percent, ninety-five percent mm. will accept the default one hundred percent? The um, um, and and I guess my follow-on question, obviously, to that is, well, what if it turns out that it's like Ventura County, eighty-five percent, or even seventy-five percent here? Then what happens between now and April 1st? Certainly. Um, let me see if I understand that question correctly. The, I'm curious about the assumptions that have been used by OCPA in yeah. establishing this rate structure. Um, again, maybe we'll ask Tiffany to come on back up. Um, I, I've heard, I don't know the exact answer. I've heard anecdotally that um, the history of CCEs that roughly um, 95 percent of customers who are opted into a default profile stay in that default profile. But as it relates to the assumption at OCPA specifically, I think Tiffany would be more um, more equipped to answer that question. Thank you so much. For the assumption that we were um, using for residential customers was five percent as the out rate, and then for commercial customers we were using 10 percent. So it aligns with all the CCA historical opt out rate. So. Let me just repeat that then. For the commercial customers, you anticipate a 10% a opt-out opt -out rate. rate. Correct. And what happens if it's 15%? If it increases then our expectation or our assumption, it won't have a significant financial impact because the revenue will match with all the cost of energy. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Okay, if more people chose to opt out more than 10%, let's just say, the cost of energy will decrease as well as the revenue. So because of the matching principle, there will be no significant financial impact to us. So you won't have to recalculate the rates? We do need to create uh, recalculate rates every year because uh, rates uh, mirror what SCE rates are. But if if let's say 15 or 20 percent opt out, that'll be less revenue. It will also be less cost of energy as well. Less cost of energy. That's correct. Revenue decrease as well as the cost. But we're encouraging people to stick with the 100 percent, assuming we adopt that tonight, right? Yes, we will. And then we will put a lot of efforts in marketing to communicate and outreach to the customers. 